a while ago. Um, I did this clay as a demonstration uh, for the use of uh, this Le Beau Touche uh, by Chavant uh, Plastiline. It uh, is a two pound block. Um, anyway, it's a high melt or HM clay. And that means that it takes very high temperatures to uh, uh, melt that clay. And I did soften it with under a 100 watt bulb, but it took a while to get the clay soft. Uh, but this is perfect clay if you're in a tropic area where it's hot and uh, or down south uh, in the United States where it gets really hot. It's a clay that you can work and it won't get too soft or sticky, so. Time to play with some clay. This clay I did uh, all a while back, and I'm going to show you the video of that demo. Uh, Le Beau Touche, I guess it is. I, I'm not certain how you pronounce that French uh, name. Um, and so I thought I'd take a look at these clays. What I thought I'd do is do a little demonstration with uh, one of these clays. The one that the one that feels the best to my hands. And so this sounds like a very good deal here. I like the gray color too. But anyway, I'm gonna sculpt a bust just to uh, experiment with this clay and see how well it works. All right, I noticed one thing. The clay doesn't have a real smell to it. I mean, it has a slight smell, but not offensive smell. I, it, some clays overwhelm you with uh, their smell. All right, I'm going to, I uh, don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just thought I'd do something as a demonstration. Now the damn camera went off, and I didn't know what, I don't know where it went off at, but uh, I'll just have to pick it up wherever it is that it left off. Here I'm just taking the measurements to plot out the eye sockets and, and stuff like that. I just wanted to revisit a sculpture I did. Oh gosh, it has to have been, I don't know, three, four years. Well, I was back in my other house two houses ago. <laughs> and that was at least four years, maybe five years ago. This I did this. Anyway, the clay is still soft. It's a, a Chavant clay, and I'm not certain what brand of Shavant. It was a an experiment uh, with the uh, clay and uh, I did this space in about an afternoon probably with about a hour or so but that's back when I could see. <laughs> anyway I'm uh, thinking of revisiting it. I've just got to figure out what context to put him in. I don't have this kind of clay anymore, so I won't be able to use 
use the clay to uh, match the clay I got on it. So I'm going to have to use uh, bits and pieces of the clay I've got here, like cutting it off and uh, heating it up a little bit. But uh, I don't know. I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. I like the face. It really came out good. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Just cutting off the hair. I did the uh, sketch very quickly, which uh, meant I didn't put a lot of detail into it. heating up my knife so I can cut the clay a little easier. Okay, I'm continuing to cut clay off. I think what I'll do is change over to a sculpting tool. Heat, heat this thing up and it'll be a lot easier and I won't cut myself. Ooh, that hurts. It works better, but it doesn't help if you touch the part that's melted. I really do like this face. It'll probably never get cast, but who knows? Somebody might take a liking to it and want to buy one. Or somebody might want to cast it up. You just never know, so you just, whether you think you're going to make money on a piece or not, doesn't matter. If you like it, do it.
that's as far as I'm going to go today. And uh, I'll come back to it next time. Have a great night, everybody. Stay healthy. Wash your hands. <laughs> and uh, space yourself between people so you don't get that virus. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.